Hi, we are Scott and Mindy Callis. And we are super, super excited to partner with MVBC on an upcoming missions trip uh, with Homes of Hope to Ensenada, Mexico. This is something that's super near and dear to our hearts. Um, Youth with a Mission, or YWAM, has an amazing program uh, down in Ensenada, Mexico called Homes of Hope. And Homes of Hope uh, gives homes to impoverished families. And it's just an amazing process. It's an incredible thing to be involved in. And uh, most of you know that there are those living down in the third world nation of Mexico that don't have a home. They don't have security and safety for their family. Uh, they don't have windows or they don't have a door that locks and all of these things uh, the Homes of Hope program does for them. It gives them a 16 by 20 foot structure that has a windows, it has a cement floor, it has doors that lock and just gives an amazing peace of mind uh, to many many families and it's it's an incredible incredible program. Some of the long-term benefits of a family receiving a home. The, the families, uh, you know, Mindy mentioned safety and security. That's the first thing is this, it's the first safe place that some of these families have ever had in their lifetime. Uh, immediately they have a concrete floor uh, coming from what has been a dirt floor in the past for them. And so they immediately have better health. They uh, have a lot of, um, tummy issues because of uh, dirt floors and different things. So immediately getting a, uh, a concrete floor improves their health. Um, families who have uh, a home and some of those, those things taken care of for them or, or provided for them, uh, they're able to, um, to spend their income on things to improve their family more long term rather than uh, just initially trying to take care of housing things. So uh, it, it helps break a cycle of poverty. It, uh, it teaches children and, and changes the whole mindset of the family uh, to break out of a cycle of poverty and move into a, 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 a process of growing and developing as an individual. Um, and some of that is, uh, but through education, there's um, families with a, with a, a safe and reliable home. Um, the children stay in school an average of two to three years longer mm -hmm. than, um, than a family that doesn't. Uh, they're able to excel further in school and uh, just it changes a whole family's uh, whole trajectory in life. So those are some of the long-term benefits for the family in, you know, as, as an individual family. Uh, but also we've, we've bumped into several uh, people in our time going back and forth to Ensenada and to Tijuana that um, uh, a, a child receives a home and um, then later in life because of receiving that home through Homes of Hope, uh, they have come back to the ministry of Homes of Hope, of, of Youth with a Mission, mm -hmm. and uh, gone through uh, a discipleship training school and actually become part of the staff that helps build homes for other families. Uh, so it's a long-term cycle of ministry uh, that, that we, Mindy and I, and our family has been a part of. And it's an honor and a privilege to be a part of what Jesus called us to in Matthew 28 when he said, go and preach the gospel to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And a trip like Homes of Hope isn't necessarily preaching the gospel immediately, but what it does is it opens a door. And it's just an amazing, amazing ministry that um, is such an incredible thing to be a part of. It allows, um, us to meet their physical needs and then open the door for us to meet their spiritual needs as well. And rather God working in and through us to meet the spiritual needs of their family. So we'd like to invite you to, uh, to partner with us and uh, with MVBC to, um, to be part of this really exciting ministry in Mexico. So we know not everybody's gonna be able to go on a trip like this. Uh, if, if God's calling you to go, we, we challenge you, say yes. Absolutely. It is it is an exciting trip and uh, um, just about everybody can do it, I promise. So for those who can't go, uh, one of the first things you can do, uh, if you can't go, 
is to give. Mm -hmm. And you can financially support those that are able to go. Um, and that's a huge blessing to those who do go and to those who give. And uh, then prayer. Mm -hmm. Those who do go, we can always use your prayer. And prayer, praying for safety, praying for that the finances will come in and uh, pray that it will be a blessing to the families and those around the, the neighborhood, those in the ministry uh, in, in Ensenada in Mexico. <laughs> Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of things and a lot of people that you can pray for as well. And uh, God works through the prayers of these people. We have seen that many times over. Amen. And uh, mm -hmm. so praying for, for missionaries is, um, it is a huge blessing. Yes. So for those of you that have prayed for us in the past, we mm -hmm. sure appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, please be praying for those who do go in the future. So again, we hope to see you on the trip coming up sometime in 2022.